Hi everyone. Last call for break a hall. Can always count on Tice Pop to come through. He get he got a personal box. 2018 Tops Heritage Baseball. It leaves one personal box from that case that we popped open. Uh, it leaves one left, and we'll uh, we'll break that tomorrow. This will be our last box of the night. So thanks to everybody for joining us. All right. Um, I feel overall. I mean, we kind of done this, did all these boxes throughout the uh, throughout the evening. So I don't. They all kind of blur in together. So I'm not really sure. But I have a good. I have a feeling this was a good case. I think. I think it was a good case. We'll just say it was a really good case. Nice one, Rich. I guess we can go with that. It's late enough, right? But I can't repeat that, Rich, because the kids watch. Then, then they're gonna ask their parents what it, what that means. And then, you know. Then I get angry phone calls. We thought it was a family-friendly show. Well, sir, it's technically TV 14 if you want to think about it that way. Now my kids are asking about what what an Otani face is. And they'll be like, oh, then do you want to explain my kids? And I'm like, oh, boy, I don't want to explain it to your <laughs> So it's fine for the chat, though. Fine for the chat. But I can't be saying things like, you know, Rich Schmidt wants to see Joe's Otani face. Can I say that? No. I'll get in trouble, Rich. It's a family show. PG-13, I would like to caution. But I think I think people rely on Jaspie's Hobbyland to be, to be professional and classy. So I can't say things like that, Rich. Tops watches him. Imagine if it's the people at Tops are watching. They're like, come on, Joe. Low hanging fruit on that joke with Otani face. <laughs> it's pretty funny. All right, this, this is what happens late at night, folks. Sorry if you're watching the replay on this at 7 in the morning and you're like, I don't want to be thinking about that. But this is what happens. If you watch all of our videos daily, from uh, from start to finish, it's pretty much like an all day podcast. You kind of get you kind of get like, you know, Joe bright, bright eyed and bushy tailed in, 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 during the beginning of the day, and then just gets progressively <laughs> worn out by the end of the day. Um. Oh, did you want this shipped? I think you are lagging, Tice. Oh, we're already halfway open now. Oh, just kidding, he says. Okay. I was going to be like, well, I'll ship you four packs. And I was going to be like, too late now, sir. <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm surprised that actually, actually, speaking of that, I'm surprised that nobody wanted to buy a box seal. Because, because I think, I think the price of this has gone up already. So at, at a certain point you can hold on to it and you could probably flip it for a little bit more than what we're selling it for. Not by much, but you know, you don't want you don't want that person telling you, hey, thanks for the thanks for that box. I pulled an Otani autograph out of there, then you'd be sick to your stomach. You have to open it. Whether you have me do it or whether you do it yourself. It's all good, Ty. I was going to say, sorry. I was going to say, tough luck. It's already, we're already three quarters of the way through. All right, good luck, Tice. Thanks for grabbing this box. Tice, always good for good for last call. Tice... Uh, had a had a good feeling. He 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 said he was thinking. He he said we got to be due. We had to be due for for a big hit out of here. So let's see if we can do that. Stare intently at these cards. So I don't feel like I don't want to miss a short print or something. The hits are either a relic or 
an autograph. Autographs not common in these things. There's Matt Carpenter, so they're usually relics. There you go. Matt Carpenter, son of a carpenter. Cardinals. Out of nine ninety nine for Tice in his personal box. Oh okay, yeah, question is if Otani doesn't pop out, who'll take the last box? John is asking. Well, we did sell two boxes out of here from uh, for someone here in the store who came into the shop. Oh, an autograph! Wow, that's a nice one. Francisco Mejia, Tice. We were actually discussing who would the big rookie names would be this season. I forgot about this guy. I think he's supposed to be the guy, the catcher for the Indians this season. You know, I think he's supposed to be the big the big rookie name. This is a re actual, very nice hit. And a mini, too. Nice. Tommy Pham. Out of 100. Keeping it 100. It's turning out to be a pretty nice box for Tice. I would not be surprised if that Mejia, you know, covered the cost of your box. I don't... Should look it up, but... Would not be surprised. He's a pretty big name. see I don't know maybe check but I know he's I know he's one of the more popular popular rookies from what I understand but double check that autograph or if someone knows let me know before this video ends which is gonna end soon but it wouldn't surprise me though Otani, 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 Otani. No, no. This is considered an act. That's just a base card. It's trout. Ugh. No. No Otani. However, a few nice cards in there. Hey, getting an autograph. Just supply and demand alone. There's just not very many autographs per case. So that'll, that helps a lot of secondary market value as well. Rizzo belts two homers. There's Greg Holland, not signed yet. Will Myers conceding his uh, first base spot. And potential rookies of the year right here. More for him, I think. Maybe for Verdugo. He could surprise some people. Greg Holland's looking for elite closer money. I think that's, what, that's the problem with Greg Holland. All right. And just the soft free agent market. Jaspieshobbyland.com. Thanks very much, Tice. Thanks for getting in. That Francisco Mejia, it's a strong hit. There you go. Appreciate you getting that box. Um, that's it for us, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.